Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. Again, we're very excited to announce the brand new lineup of 3D's AAT polishing pad, foam pads and 3D's high definition foam pads. We're going to show you here my favorite pad, which happens to be the range on this pad is so phenomenal that it goes from heavy cutting down to polishing. I think that this will be your guaranteed go-to pad when you have any types of questions or any types of uh, wondering what type of paint that I'm correcting, what type of paint that I'm fixing, as opposed to, uh, you know, shoot, this is this going to polish for me? Is it going to cut for me? If I had to buy one pad, which would it be? We're very confident this will be the pad that you'll want to use right off of the get-go. Um, as in our previous episodes, we showed the HD heavy cutting spider pad. We're going to show you in this segment the AAT light purple polishing cutting pad on a rotary and then in a separate segment we'll show you how to use the HD purple pad for dual action polisher. Now this is a 5.5 inch for the bigger throws but with the smaller um, rotating radius we have this because the spider pad on the 5.5 inch tends to mar not on a 6.5 or not on the 6.5 inch so like your brand new flex dual action polisher this pad will be perfect for that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the one thing that's really nice about this pad is it has a whole range. Again it can be with your HD cut your HD polish and your HD speed. It's not subject to one or just two of them. Every single one of our compounds and polishes will work great with this product. Now in our previous segment we did a one two by two or you know like a foot and a half by foot and a half area with our HD cut and our HD dark purple spider pad. We're going to brighten this up with just using HD polish and this pad. This pad allows enough cutting ability for the polish really to get going. Uh, we want to give it, because it's a brand new pad, one quick spritz from our detailer, our spray detailer, whether you use our non-silicone or our silicone version, it doesn't matter unless you're in a body shop. I'm going to keep the speed down because it is foam, ah, around a thousand RPMs. Working into the area here, make sure we don't get any sling. Now this pad, as it starts to work, softens up really nice, creating a larger surface area, keeping the pad surface nice and flat. Allows the product to work really, really well. I've tested it personally, as you guys know through all the videos that I do, with all of our products specifically. It made every one of our products enhance the way they worked. So I'm imagining, although we prefer you use only our products, I'm gonna imagine that it would do the same with even competing products. Go back and forth really quick. Do one more for good measure. And because of the special cell design that we have, it keeps the heat down while allowing the polish and the abrasives within it to work really, really well, whether it be a compound, the cut, or the, the polish. Create that ultimate shine. Go ahead and wipe it down. See what we got. Now, despite my towel marks, a darn near flawless finish. Now this pad holds in all the product really well. It gets very soft as it as it works, which allows for more surface area, especially on curved and contour curved and contoured areas. Uh, the open cell, the semi-open cell design allows the product to stay within its location and its radius so it doesn't just spread out all over the place. It, it keeps the sling and the, uh, the product under the pad instead of all over the vehicle. Uh, and it also, because of its special unique foam, allows it to, again, the range is phenomenal from basically heavy cutting all the way down to polishing. And this pad is, and this foam is unique with 3D. You won't find it anywhere else. We hope and we know that you're going to enjoy this pad and it's going to be your go-to foam pad in your, in your toolbox. Now we're going to show you in the next episode, as I mentioned before, on how to use the uh, polishing pad or the polishing cutting pad on a dual action polisher. And just to get us an extra bling, we're going to show you the new 3D HD dark black spider pad to give this that extra zing. Thanks for checking us out. I'm Donald Williams with 3D International. I hope you enjoyed this segment and we'll see you next time. Yeah.